Hi guys! Today we are going to make um, special beef bulgogi. Uh, this is my own version. I tried this this morning and it really works and my kids love this recipe. So this time I'm going to mix um, some carrots and um, onions because I want some crunch on the bulgogi. So uh, I would like to show you uh, my own recipe. This is pretty simple. Everyone can make it and it's just very, very tasty. It is so delicious. So um, I prepared carrots, two carrots, onions, one that's one whole onions and then I slice garlic so right now if you can see the garlic is already sauteed in olive oil and I am going to show you the beef okay okay guys all right so this is my beef and this is sirloin so what I did is I slice into small pieces and I put salt pepper olive oil and a little bit of soy sauce so I mix together and then marinate for a few minutes and then um, after I fry the garlic um, in the olive oil I am gonna I'm gonna put this beef in the pan and then try to saute until the until the um, you know the liquid is gone and then it will be ready and then we're gonna mix the um the onion and the carrots and that's it pretty simple but so tasty and delicious all right so cook with me okay so now i already heat the olive oil so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our beef so let's just put all together just be careful guys so I use high heat for this recipe because I want the beef to be cooked fully and then you have to make sure that uh, the beef is is really um, like tender and of course um, check the beef from time to time and that's it so just let it sit there for a few minutes check flip and then you know turn around like this mix mix this is very easy everyone can follow this recipe guys this is a very um tasty um kind of uh beef bulgogi so right now it is cooking so now i'm gonna grab my honey so let's pour a little bit of honey here okay so now let's put our honey so for this recipe i think i'm just gonna put like two teaspoon of honey you can add more honey if you want it, it's up to you but for me to teaspoon um just estimate how much meat you're going to cook and then you know you can just you know estimate how much okay so you can also make this uh beef bulgogi at night like you know uh marinate put in the refrigerator so what you're gonna do is just slice the beef put salt pepper onion if you want to add more um, like ground garlic you can also add if you want some more flavor you can also put thyme and 
parsley so it's up to you guys it's it's your option but for me just just simple as this and you know some people also put um uh, sesame seeds you can also do that but right now i'm just not gonna put uh, some sesame seeds here right so if you can see uh i have the carrots and the onions and the fried garlic so we're gonna top that after and for the carrots you don't have to cook it very well because i love the crunchiness of carrots you don't have to cook um, you know like overcook so just uh, just watch guys what i'm gonna do so let's see in a few minutes our beef will be ready so if you see the pink color uh, that's not ready yet so let's wait for a few more minutes and see when it's brown when the color turns into brown pretty much that is ready so all right I'm gonna use the spoon so I can easily um, mix together so remember guys the beef that i'm using is sirloin steak so it's tender and um it, it is uh, quite pricey for the sirloin because this is like two big piece of sirloin it cost me 13 dollar but it's worth um that part is really tasty it has some flavor it has a little bit of fat and uh and that is that gives the good flavor on the bulgogi okay so this is my version of bulgogi so if you can see the oil is turning into a different color so meaning just for a few minutes our beef bulgogi is ready if you want um, the bulgogi to 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 become dark darker you can also add more soy sauce but of course just limit the soy sauce that you know that uh, you are going to put because you know it's still better to have a, a beef flavor than the soy sauce taste so let's try this mm, it's so good because of the honey god tastes so good so i'm gonna put um a little bit more of salt and uh, a little bit of um, pepper because i love pepper okay guys so um i didn't show to you how i put the salt pepper that's pretty simple so i added a little bit of soy sauce just to make the look of our bulgogi tasty and more delicious so here i separated the liquid and then i put it here and because i want to save this for later on when i added the carrots and onions so right now our beef bulgogi is simmering so let's wait for a little wait for a little while until it turns brown Right now, I think the liquid is gone, so let's add our onions. Okay, so let's add the onions. Okay, my hands is clean, guys, so, you know, I always wash my hands every time I cook. Every time from, you know, touching some ingredients. I just... I just love to use my hands, not spoon or anything. I don't know. It's my thing. So now, let's mix together. If you can see, it looks so good already. My goodness. How easy this recipe. And it looks delicious. So... Let's wait for our carrots to uh, to cook a little bit. 
And now, since the liquid is gone, let's add some. Okay, little by little. That liquid helps our carrots to cook and onions. If you can see, it's very simple recipe. But um, like what I said earlier, you can put broccoli, you can put any greens that you like as a side dish um, to this recipe. So if you prefer broccoli, it's up to you. But I like using carrots because the carrots uh, has no strong like strong flavor broccoli has strong flavor and sometimes uh, my kid doesn't like to eat <laughs> especially my youngest one so i hope she she's gonna eat this um, carrots okay 